Good morning, everybody. My name is Elena Petrici. I'm from the University of Siena in Italy. And today I'm going to present you the second cycle master degree in sustainable industrial pharmaceutical biotechnology and the second level master in drug design and synthesis. I don't know how familiar are you with Italy, but Siena is located in the center of Italy in Tuscan region. And here you can find some beautiful picture of our town and uh, the countryside, uh, which is famous especially for wines. Uh, uh, just to speak about some of the most famous ones, the Chianti one and the Brunello of Montalcino area. Siena is famous uh, even for the university, which is one of the oldest in Italy. And uh, we have uh, different uh, departments and courses and, uh, uh, and the, the department of biochemistry, chemistry and pharmacy uh, that I'm a professor in, uh, it has been recently awarded by the MIUR, uh, that's mean the government, uh, as, uh, with a grant uh, as Department of Excellence in uh, Italy. Our department uh, and the University of Siena in general, it's uh, in a, a territorial integrated ecosystem for research and education. And it's collaborating with the university hospital, with the Tuscan region, and the life science companies that are located all around Siena, as well as the important uh, foundations, no profit. Uh, uh, organizations such as the Toscana Life Sciences. Um, in Italy, the pharmaceutical company play a key role in the Italian economy, especially from uh, the pharma export trends. If you look at this one from 2008-2018, you can see that Italy is the first one in Europe, and it's the one that uh, it's uh, mostly growing in the Midwest market uh, for uh, pharmaceuticals products. Especially in Tuscany, uh, Siena has been recognized as the so-called Pharma Valley, as we have uh, more than 400 companies uh, working in this uh, field, with 7 billion production and 2 billion experts. We have many people working, employees in uh, this uh, field, uh, and uh, uh, a lot of investment in research, uh, research and development. Everything is really connected with the University of Siena and particularly with our department, the Department of Biotechnology, Chemistry and Pharmacy, which is uh, directly working in this uh, field, in the field of drug discovery. Particularly, we have three missions, the teaching, research and per mission. For the teaching activity, as I will show you, we have different courses and for our research, different fields of uh, interest that are in between biology, chemistry, and pharmacy. And so the, we are all working on the bioeconomy, agri-food, therapeutics, and diagnosis, as well as vaccine, vaccines, biomaterial, and renewable energy. So um, it's a cross-cutting design, and uh, the DBCF play a key role in the regional district. Here you can find some of the research uh, field uh, in which our department is involved. Those are moving from post-genetic, molecular mechani um, mechanism of disease, medicinal chemistry, drug design and synthesis, molecular modeling, drug discovery, regulatory affairs, uh, and advanced analytical chemistry. And all are applied to different diseases, uh, moving from cancer to real disease, uh, neurological disease, nutraceutical, cosmeticals, and so on. So for the teaching activity, we have more than 1,700 students in our department, and we start from the EPS, um, which is a uh, first level of uh, education activity, moving to the bachelor. And we have uh, a bachelor, which is in, uh, in three years uh, in chemical sciences, to first level master degree, in chemistry and sustainable industrial pharmaceutical biotechnology 
both are in English, and uh, a single cycle master degree of five years in pharmacy or in pharmaceutical and chemical technology. Then uh, we have uh, a school of specialization. Here are some of uh, the um, fantastic laboratories uh, we have in our department. These are for teaching. Um, we have a school of specialization in clinical pharmacy, which is integrated with the university hospital. And uh, it's working in education in clinical trials and di diagnostic uh, activity. And then we have several uh, second level master, especially here today, we are speaking about so the second level master in drug design and synthesis of our department. Our department have, has uh, even two schools, two PhD schools, one in chemical and pharmaceutical sciences, uh, and the other one, it's a school, uh, Pegaso, in biochemistry and molecular biology. Both PhD schools are in English. And here you can find some of the teaching staff in our department, that is uh, from uh, different academies in Italy, in Europe, uh, and all over the world, and a research center, not only located in Italy, and different companies that are involved in the teaching activities and in the education of our students. The research activities are in the development of enzymology, chemotherapeutics, metabolism, vaccinology, biomarkets, immunology, and uh, more generally in cell and molecular biochemistry, molecular biology, vaccine biotechnology, big data analysis, agri-food, biomaterials and biocompatibility, as well as uh, in genomic and post-genomic and structural biology. Obviously, my uh, research activity is more focusing on drug design and synthesis, so that's why I'm the director of the second level master in drug design and synthesis. And uh, uh, we are we work in collaboration with different universities. Here there are some uh, Erasmus programs that are activated all, all over the Europe from uh, our department, uh, they are, these are just few of the ones we have, so for the students, even for the master students, there is the possibility to spend uh, a period uh, abroad to do their own research activity or exams uh, in this uh, university, which has some uh, Erasmus agreement with our department. So moving towards uh, um, one uh, important news of our department is uh, the second cycle master degree in sustainable industrial pharmaceutical biotechnology, which is uh, a completely uh, new course. It's the first uh, in Europe, which is focused on the social environmental economic sustainability of the production of drugs. This is an important part because um, Okay, as uh, I told you just a few, few minutes ago, Italy mm, is one of the most important countries in drug development and in pharmaceutical industry. And nowadays, the sustainability of the processes uh, in pharmaceutical companies uh, are a very, very important focus uh, for the future development uh, of, uh, in the pharmaceutical field. That's why we start with this uh, new uh, course, which is trying to develop uh, a new professionist, uh, polyvalent, multi uh, component, and cross cutting professional uh, people that are able to work uh, in the biotech uh, pharma um, sector. So they have different subjects to be studies that are moving from pharmaceutical products to bio-based products, sustainability, bioinformatics and big data analysis, as well as international management and regulatory affairs. Just because we need to develop all the soft skills that are necessary nowadays to work in, a, in this uh, pharmaceutical uh, world which is uh, moving and changing pretty fast. 
uh, we are trying to apply in this course a uh, novel um, educational model by applying active working, uh, active learning activities, uh, active learning techniques uh, by using team working uh, system uh, and uh, different uh, individual programs uh, related to uh, the the need, the different needs of uh, any single student. Uh, the course is two year uh, and uh, it's a second cycle master degree. It's located in Siena, it's in English, and it's uh, to access uh, you need uh, a bachelor degree. So the first year courses are here reported and the second year courses, as you can see, are most based on students' choice courses in such a way that any student can decide which is uh, its own field of interest and can, can build up uh, its own uh, educational uh, course. And then uh, there is a stage uh, with uh, some uh, free seminars after the stage, uh, they have to write down uh, for final dissertation a kind of uh, thesis and then uh, they get to the degree. Uh, one uh, of the main uh, of, of the special projects of this course, uh, it's a part of, uh, it's uh, uh, the achieve of the fifth goal on uh, sustainable development, which is repre represented by gender equality and empower all women and girls. Especially we have special program for women in science. So moving forward to the uh, Master in Drug Design and Synthesis, um, I'm the director of. Um, you can, we, we start to work on this master, which is at the eighth um, edition. Uh, it's related uh, especially to the um, to how pharmaceutical companies are important in Italy and the fact that uh, they want to have uh, people working in the field uh, that have uh, a strong background uh, in uh, different uh, fields. And uh, usually they are not able to reach uh, this uh, very multidisciplinary background just by a bachelor or a master degree. That's why we start um, some years ago with uh, the Master in Drug Design and Synthesis as uh, the production and the development of new drugs uh, it's quite complicated. As you can see here starting from um, 10,000 uh, compounds, you arrive at the end to obtain one active molecule that after years, after after 20 years, uh, it can be eventually able to become a drug. Uh, in all these steps reported over here, you need experts. And so what we want to do with the Master in Drug Design and Synthesis is the education of high-level researcher, um, researchers with a well-balanced theoretical and practical knowledge um, on chemical, analytical, biological and biotechnological research to work in pharmaceutical industry. The students uh, need to have uh, a master degree in chemical or bio, uh, biological fields and they need to be interested in pharmaceutical and biotechnological industry and topics. Uh, how the, Mars, the master works. So it's uh, an 18 months uh, course, uh, it's a second level master and it's held in Italian and English languages. It's composed by different activities, so there are 200 hours of frontal lessons, a project teamwork to be presented by the students, a midterm exam, and a stage and a final dissertation once uh, a thesis uh, uh, on the base of the stage activities it's wrote down and it's presented to a commission. 
For the frontal lenses, they are blended. That means that they are both in presence and online, and they are divided in two sessions, the first one and the second one. I show you just some of the topics of our work. Uh, master, which are in synthesis of new compounds, catalysis and biocatalysis, green chemistry as a special focus. As nowadays, it's not important to synthesize and to develop new drugs, but you need to develop them uh, in a very sustainable manner. Then you have some a part of computational and medicinal chemistry, analytical chemistry, especially for the analysis of drugs. Uh, pharmacology and uh, regulatory affairs, which is an important task, especially nowadays, we know with the problems related to the COVID-19 vaccines, how important to have experts able, able to um, to discuss about the different topics, the different issues that can, that can move from the production of a new vaccine, of a new molecule, to its development to clinical trials. Uh, then we have a part of psychology, especially for anger management and teamwork management, and a part of uh, leadership development. This is a new part I recently introduced inside the master activities. So here you can see some example of uh, the first session uh, of frontal lessons of the master, of this year master, uh, which is composed by different uh, uh, lessons from uh, both companies and uh, uh, academic uh, professors. So we have a part of natural product synthesis and development to um, obtain uh, new drugs, uh, drug-like properties in drug discoveries, and then all the communication skills and biostructural analysis to help people to work together. This is an important part made by Professor Cugini, uh, who is a professionist in this field, working for many pharmaceutical companies. Then we work on antibiotics resistance process validation, economics of pharmaceuticals, then um, all the part of green chemistry and catalysis, which, which is crucial nowadays to develop uh, new drugs, then uh, all the nutraceutical stuff, uh, and the drug metabolism and the ADMA studies. For the second session that we will have uh, in June, we are moving to all the computational part related to chemioinformatics applied to LCMS analysis in drug discovery, as well as in the development of research vaccinology. As here in Siena, we have the GSK company, which is directly involved even in the production of additives for COVID-19 vaccines. In fact, we have a special part related to SARS-CoV-2 infections here. Um, as uh, in Toscana Life Sciences, uh, the foundation I spoke to you about uh, a few minutes ago, uh, it's developing new monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of, of COVID-19. Uh, so here we will have uh, the most important experts in the field uh, speaking with our students and teaching to them the most modern uh, and uh, crucial issues for the development of this new drug. Then we have a part of bioconjugation techniques uh, and molecular and cellular imaging, as well as um, some lessons dedicated to intellectual properties, research and development, and to computer-rated drug design. All this part will be composed by a theoretical part uh, as well as uh, an experimental one in which the students can start and can um, learn how to use different softwares for uh, computational chemistry development project and uh, drug design especially. Uh, here you can find some of our professors from the King's College in London, from the University of Siena, and many pharmaceutical companies such as Chiesi, Alpha Sigma, Indena, uh, Axum, but we have even IFA, which is an important agency in Italy, such as the FDA uh, in the uh, US for the old regulatory affairs. We have people from the University of 
of uh, Vienna and GSK, as well as from Toscana Life Science and from the Consiglio Nazionale delle Ricerche in Italy. Uh, for the master degree, uh, the frequency is mandatory for the 80% of classes, as well as the stage, which is an experimental one that can be done in both uh, academies, research center, as well as in company, it's uh, 625 hours. Then uh, we have a needle test. It will be uh, in uh, June and uh, the discussion of our final thesis that can be done in March next year. Uh, several companies uh, have some agreement with the University of Siena and here I reported just some of the ones that uh, um, host our students for the stages. We have Upwit, Dolbe, Chiesi, Philogen, Alpha Sigma, GSK, ELBM, which is directly involved in the development with Oxford and the AstraZeneca of one of the most important COVID COVID vaccines we have actually in Italy, Vismideri, and uh, many others such as uh, Sanofi, uh, ICOM, the Institute Mario Negri, Milan, uh, Toscana Life Sciences. Uh, we have several companies. This is are just a few of the ones that uh, are working with us uh, to uh, with our <coughs> students uh, for uh, the stages. Um, the stages, uh, most of our students prefer to do a stage uh, in uh, industry, the 70%, while a 20% uh, is doing the stage in academy, and the 10% uh, in uh, uh, other research centers uh, or uh, um, kind of foundation. The occupational activity of our students is it, very high. The 45% of them is working in industry and 25% of them access decide to access after the master to a PhD program. So other are involved in other fields. That means in field related to analytical chemistry, they are probably trying to open uh, their own small companies uh, to furnish uh, some uh, some services to the pharmaceutical companies as well. So the recruitment for the Master in Drug Design and Synthesis for the next edition, which will, which will be the ninth one, 19th one, uh, will be in November, um, in November of this year to start all the activities uh, in February uh, 2022. So there is uh, enough time to decide to participate. So, uh, in, in general, what you will get uh, by being recruited for this uh, master is to learn something new about uh, not only basic research, but even very applied research, having real problem-solving activities with your groups uh, and the teachers from both companies and academies. And you will have the chance to, to decide uh, in which different field of the pharmaceutical development you want to work, to be able to, to go on with your dreams and to be happy and love your work. So for the next edition, stay tuned here. Uh, you can find the website of the master in which you can find all the information you need even for recruitment and here just a picture of Siena and its landscape here is the center of our university it's located just here behind Piazza del Campo and uh, I hope to see all of you in Siena and uh, to have the chance to meet you as student of our master. If you have any question, I am here to answer. Thank you.